Okay, the second video in our playlist, what do we care about when we care about ethics, is the definitional one. So we want to talk about what actually what ethics is, or rather, um, maybe I should say how I'm using the term ethics. Because uh, there are many concepts in the world, um, ethics being one, awkwardly enough, artificial intelligence being another, that don't have easily agreed upon universal definitions. One implication of that is that you can't simply go to your search engine and say, what is ethics, hit enter, and then 10 seconds later know what ethics is. Uh, that's not the way that works. Um, in fact, you'll get tens of thousands of, uh, <laughs> of uh, possible definitions if you enter in what is ethics to your um, search engine. So maybe let's do this. Let's divide up into substats um, of those answers. So, so some of those answers, many of them, are going to be basically correct, technically correct. But here's my experience is that some of the ones that are technically correct don't actually help us on our journey as we try to think through particular ethical situations, ethical problems. Ethics is a very practical discipline. So you know, if we encounter a definition of ethics like that, that's, that seems like kind of a problem. And another thing going along with that is that they're not particularly memorable. So I'm an ethics professor. I have a lot of experience with this. Right? You can say, like, hey, it's Wednesday. What was the definition of ethics that we talked about on Monday? And people kind of look at you, and then they awkwardly look at down at their paper, and they're like pulling up their notes from Monday, because a lot of these definitions just aren't memorable, even if they're technically correct. So I want to do a little better than that. Second, the second subset is just definitions of ethics that um, aren't correct. Obviously, I don't want to give you one of those. I do want to give you uh, this third subset. Um, definitions of ethics that are basically correct, but they are helpful and they are memorable. All right, let me give an example of the first type. So this type that, you know, something that might be correct, but it's, it's not memorable and maybe it doesn't help us so much. What if we tried something like this? Ethics is the study of whether to or and or how to justify moral judgments. Okay, so uh, I guess the first thing I want to say is that the, a lot of people start with the difference between ethics and morality. Um, I personally think we can and should relax that difference. Uh, first of all, um, the way people use the words ethics and, and morality, they are purely synonyms. I can say some, I, you acted ethically or you acted morally, those statements almost always mean the same thing. This was immoral, that's unethical, those always mean the same thing. Um, so these attempts to distinguish between ethics and morality seem to me to come to a distinction without a difference. I'll tell you what the real difference is. Uh, ethics comes from the word ethos, which is Greek for norms, customs, or habits. And morality comes from mores, which is Latin for norms, customs, or habits. So one's Latin and one's Greek. Uh, anyways, uh, in this course, I will use them interchangeably. OK, ethics, the study of whether to or how to justify moral judgment. So if we give a definition like that, then obviously we have to take a step back and think about what a moral judgment is and then what it would mean to justify a moral judgment. OK, so let's think about the different things we can do with language. Uh, we can make a descriptive statement. It's, it's an attempt to describe the world, to say something true about the world. So an example would be, the door is shut. OK, so I got a subject, the door, a state of being verb is, and then a description of the subject. OK, uh, I could also make a prescriptive statement. Uh, prescriptive, I, I, I like to remember it because I think of like a doctor prescribing something. You know, you should take this medicine. Um, a prescriptive statement is not an attempt to say how the world is, but how the world should be. Uh, so should, ought, uh, the words good or bad, those are often indicative of pre a prescriptive statement. So in our example, you would say something like, you should shut the door. It's not a description of how the world is, but how it should be. We can also ask questions, is the door shut? We can also just make expressions of our preferences. I prefer shut doors. I don't know why you would say that, but it's something that you can say. 
All right, so whatever a moral judgment is, it is a type of prescriptive statement. But unfortunately, we can't just say that moral judgments and prescriptive statements are identical, that, that they're the same type of thing, because there's a lot of prescriptive statements that we would not want to say are morally important, such as you should use that fork first at dinner, or you shouldn't wear white socks with sandals, if you, that's a rule anymore. Okay, um, so there are lots of like shoulds, oughts that uh, you know we make, but um, no one thinks that they're morally important, that they're they have moral relevance. Or if they do, that would be kind of weird, right? I wouldn't want to hang out with somebody who thought etiquette was a matter of like moral importance. Uh, but there are some other statements that we do think of as morally relevant, such as "You should not murder." That would be a prescriptive statement that classically we, we all agree has moral importance. All right, so that's kind of awkward because we, uh, how do you tell the difference between a prescriptive statement that's morally relevant and one that's not? Um, you uh, probably need uh, to, to buy into a certain ethical theory. And in the absence of that, you really can't. But for now, it's OK just to say that we can all recognize that there is a difference, that there are some statements in this bucket and some statements in this bucket. And then what does it mean to justify a moral judgment? Well, let's first think about what it means to justify a descriptive statement that's easier to understand and also much less controversial. OK, so here's a classic philosophical descriptive statement. Socrates is mortal. Socrates is an ancient Greek philosopher. Mortal, not moral, but mortal going to die. Uh, so this is an attempt to describe something true about the world. Socrates is going to die, right? So uh, I could say that. I could say, hey, this is my opinion. This is my belief um, that Socrates is going to die. And then if someone could say to me, well, why do you think that? Or why should I think that? Or what explains why that's true? And then what I would have to do is come up with a justification. Okay? So a justification is just going to be a set of reasons that turns my belief from just a regular belief into a conclusion. Right? So the reasons are like premises, and then the thing that I just believed is the conclusion. So uh, the reasons here would probably be all humans are mortal, Socrates is a human, therefore Socrates is mortal. Okay, so we do that with descriptive statements. Um, all the time. It's very important that we do that to have civil discussions, et cetera, et cetera. What about with prescriptive statements? Okay, well, let's pick one that's a classic moral judgment because it's thought to have uh, moral significance. Murder is wrong. Okay, so it's the same thing. I could say, uh, uh, my belief is that murder is wrong. I think murder is wrong. It's convincing me that murders are wrong. Then someone could say, well, what's your justification for that? And what I would have to do is give a set of reasons why. Uh, it's convincing that murder is wrong, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Therefore, murder is wrong. So ethics is going to study. Uh, there, there are ethicists who think you can't justify um, uh, moral judgments. But if, if it's agreed that you can, then like, how do you do that? What's the, what's the proper reasons to express to justify that? OK, again. Um, that was my attempt to give you an example of type 1. Uh, so I think that's basically correct, um, technically correct. But if I were to ask you, you know, in a week, what do we talk about as the definition of ethics there? And I just left you with that. Uh, you would probably not remember that. Um, and it's also a question of like how you would take that with you on your journey through ethics. Uh, what is that, how does that help you? So I want to stay away from um, definitions like that. Uh, again, definitions like one. And instead, I want to give you a definition like three. So here's my attempt to do that. Here's an example. Ethics is the study of human well-being. Well-being, what makes life go well for humans. And by the way, we might decide based on our investigation that we want to extend that um, to extend the circle to non-human animals or to non-human persons. Um, but it starts with, it's a humanities discipline, it starts with the study of ourselves, our own species, and what makes life go well for us. 
Um, as a bonus, I also like to think that this is the way Aristotle thought about ethics. Okay, so this isn't just an example. Um, it is the definition that um, I take with me through life as I think about ethics. I'm not saying this is the definition, capital T, capital D. Um, but I do think it is a kind of a type three definition where it's basically true, but it's also something that you can always remember and something that is really helpful as you're thinking about ethical problems. You're like, okay, I'm thinking about well-being right now. So I haven't given you any reasons to believe that that is a good definition, except uh, I'm just asking you to trust me. Um, but in this playlist, I guess one way to think about why this playlist exists is because I want to try to convince you that this is a good way to think about ethics. So uh, what is ethics? Um, I'm throwing out there the study of human well-being. Uh, I haven't done anything to convince you that that's right yet, but I hope to do that soon.